Hi there guys, Farmer Bob here. Welcome back to my channel guys. <laughs> Great man. Yo, if this is the first time on my channel, a warm welcome to you all. Obviously, uh, to those who are new, to my old um, uh, faithful subscribers, a warm welcome to everyone. Great man guys, a few tips um, just on um, editing a map. Uh, there's a few questions that uh, guys have been struggling with. Although it's very basic for the guys that are doing map making, uh, yeah, you, you probably want to skip this video. But uh, for those who are struggling with uh, f replacing textures and foliage on a map, uh, this is going to be <laughs> handy for you. Great, man. So let's get stuck in. What I'm going to do is just grab a blank empty map. Uh, so we're going to just run into one of my empty maps. Also, I'm going to use this one here. And uh, let us open it up. Yes. And then uh, show you quickly what I'm talking about. So you've got a, a whole map and you want to just replace the ground textures with another texture. And you don't like the ground texture of the map. And you want to add your own ground texture in there. Maybe a custom one or maybe something else. Like for instance in this map now. I want to show you this map here. Can, I can just uh, minimize this a little bit, get that out of the way. Great. So what you want to do is first find out what this texture is that we're looking at. All right. So first go into your terrain detail texture paint mode. Select that. Let's make this bigger so we can uh, see all the grease in there. And then here at the texture, it says texture layer. This is the, the one that you will paint. If you now select paint there. It will paint asphalt because that's what it's selected. So I'm going to just control Z to undo that. So we want to find out what this is. So it's simple. Control R on the selected texture and it will tell you it's grass. All right. So this is grass. The texture is called grass. And then if you click on grass, you will find there's a whole host of textures obviously installed on this particular map. If you want to add textures to a map, that's a separate video. You have to add textures in the map R3D as well as put blank weights for it. And um, yeah, it's a whole rigmarole to put textures in. There is a simple way. The guys call it simple, but uh, it's not simple. If you go into the terrain layer here and add your textures here, it is a horribly slow process. Uh, if you select terrain, you can go to terrain and then here at the bottom, um, where did they put this now? Now I've made this thing so big, I just want to get the material out of the way. Uh, terrain reload material, that's just a tab for it. User attributes, so you can't do that anymore in the terrain layer. There used to be under terrain, there used to be a terrain layer editor right, where you can add te terrain textures here in the editor. I'm so glad they removed that because that was a horribly, horribly slow process. One little line at a time, select a little texture, whatever. But uh, yeah, if you follow my FS22 video on how to add ground textures, uh, there's a much quicker way of doing it more effectively. Like within 10 minutes, you can add 20 textures to your map, you know, that type of thing. So just follow that process there rather than uh, to doing anything else. I'm glad they removed that because uh, I wonder if they did. I can't see it yet. It used to be under terrain, but it's not there anymore, which is good. Uh, so let's leave that alone. Great. So. Now that we are talking about the texture. Now, for instance, I want to change this whole map's texture to a different texture. I don't like the grass. So that is what this video is all about. So you will select the texture that you like. So first of all, we know we control R on this to find out what it is. So it's grass. So here by enable limit 2, we're going to select this and then limit to texture. You want to select now grass because obviously you want to limit your painting to the texture grass. All right, so that you won't overwrite any other textures if you are working on a whole map, you know. For instance, if this was your map and there's only one texture out of the 20 that you've already painted you, that you want to change, you know, then this is the way to do it. So you'll select grass there. And now the new texture that you want, you will select here on top. So I want to make it... Uh, Forest leaves. Let's just select forest leaves. And now, obviously, your your brush is so small, it's going to take you two hours, maybe three hours to paint this whole thing with this tiny brush. So what we want to do is make this brush bigger here by brush. 
you go to size and put the size here a thousand or two thousand if you want to do the whole map obviously uh, this is a 2x map um, can't see the size here but it's a 2x map it's a standard in-game two kilometer map so what we want to do is zoom out a bit more and center the map I can actually do this much quicker if I get out of the edit the the paint mode so zoom out far so I can see the entire map like that you want to be r fairly in the middle of it you know so that so that you can uh, nicely zap it like that all right so select that again and then your brush if you want to do the whole map go 2200 for a 2x map 4400 for a four kilometer map you know that type of thing so it's 2200 hit enter i'm just going to go here to forest leaves just click there and oh remember to make your brush square so you can do the whole map at once so if i now click here it's going to replace in the square every texture that it finds and it's going to limit it to grass so all the grass it's going to replace to forest leaves so if i now click here once it will do the entire map if i want to paint just a certain area of the map i'm just going to undo that if i just want to paint a certain area of the map obviously i'll need to make my brush smaller and then obviously maybe you would like to go around and then you'll just paint a certain area and i can show you now i'm going to just do do a bit of uh, forest forest leaves here and show you that if I change this now to forest leaves again, where is forest leaves? There it is. All right, forest leaves. So it will limit to forest leaves. And if I paint now grass dirt, maybe it will not paint here because it's limited to forest leaves, but it will paint here. You see? So it will paint the forest leaves, but it won't paint the grass because the grass is not, it's limited to this texture. All right. So that is hopefully clear and easy for you to understand how to replace textures with the limit feature, which is a fantastic feature. I love it. I use it all day long. You know, that is a very nice feature. Now, you can do the same thing with foliage. It's exactly the same thing with foliage. So foliage, with the exception of foliage, when you open your foliage, sometimes here by foliage layer, it is at terrain detail all right so if it's at terrain detail just go to uh, any of the foliages say wheat or grass or whatever doesn't matter as long as it's one of the paintable foliages not the stuff that says um, not the stuff that says um, forest plants or water plants or any of those but just choose one of the foliages like grass or wheat or maize or potato or one of the fruits it's better all right so once you've selected one of the fruits or one of the grasses select a uh, a height for it and i am going to do this one at 200 just to make the brush a bit smaller um this is a it's a glitch in the editor so i've already entered it there but nothing is happy happening with my s radius circle so what you do is just go here Click there on Mido and it will come back to the brush. I don't know why it does. Or you can just maybe toggle this. It should update the brush. Possibly better to toggle that than you don't have to change anything here. Well, you're going to have to anyway. Harvest ready. <laughs> so if I now paint some foliages here, harvest ready foliages. Let's just see if it painted it now. All right. Same draw here. Yeah. Did it paint harvest ready here? Yeah. Oh, now I have to come in close to view it because of this horrible restriction on view range. <laughs> I hate that. So there you can see I've got now no no uh, meadow here. And here I've got meadow harvest ready. So if I now control R here, it will show there's nothing. If I control R here, it will show harvest ready. All right. So let's just select an, another foliage. Uh, meadow. Uh, let's go to sugarcane and just drop a... A green big here just paint some different foliages here just to give you an idea of what you can do with the same thing um, let's do carrots maybe green middle just 
just paint some foliages here for us to to use all right so now we've got meadow here some uh, control r here that's sugarcane and that is carrot so there's three foliages here now i want to replace my whole map all the sugarcane on the map to maybe wheat but I don't want to go and fiddle with this little thing and paint exactly all over this little thing with a small, small, tiny little brush paint here to replace all the uh, sugar cane. That's why we have the limit to feature. So you enable the limit to control R obviously to see it's sugar cane and you don't need to set the layer state. You just go to the limit to foliage this time and you go sugar cane. All right. So you don't have to worry about the foliage state. You can if you've got seven different types of foliages on your entire map and you only want to replace the, the state of, say, green middle. Then you can put even select it to a foliage state there as well. But for sugarcane, just the sugarcane, you can leave it like that. All right. And we want to replace the sugarcane to wheat. Let's go wheat. Uh, maybe wheat and we want it to go harvest ready. That's a nice color. I love the harvest ready of wheat. So if I now make my brush the whole size of the map and I've got sugarcane selected. So I'm just going to do the whole map now, but you, you get my drift. If you can see my circle now has three foliages in the circle. So if I click once, it will only do the sugarcane. You see? So if I click, it will only select the sugarcane, which is a fantastic feature. Um, and it changed it to harvest ready uh, wheat that is how you use your replace tool on textures as well as foliages very very nice and like i said very important the control r function for foliages does not work if this brush for you is set on terrain detail now if i now i hope i'm not talking trash but i know this it used to be the case if i now have my brush and i select here Control R. You see, I control R, nothing happens. Control R, nothing happens. But if I do just change this to any of the foliage layers, control R, then suddenly, control R, what is going on here? Let me just reset the brush because now its little head is spinning. Okay, so there you go go back to out or one one of these control r yeah there you go sometimes like i say the editor is not perfect yet there is still some bugs in it so now you can nicely work there used to be a bug in in um in editor 9 that if you if you were working with the terrain detail this one you're on top if you were working with this terrain detail and you're busy painting and you come back to foliages um like select another foliage and you see there's still a bug in this thing it, it it doesn't really show you the correct foliage there but in in editor 9 it's almost crashed your map <laughs> so it was a horrible thing i'm glad that is sorted and even if you paint um paint certain things with your mesh tool for instance if you grab some trees and you paint some trees here with your mesh tool and that mesh tool the edge of it just went over the edge of the map it crashed the map as well in editor 9 you can go and test it just take a take a tree select the tree with your mess paint tool and paint a, a large section and just let your edge just go over the edge of the map ah crashes boom gone all your work is gone <laughs> very annoying i'm glad they sorted that even here in this editor it's sorted that bug is sorted so it's very very nice to see that they've worked on some of the irritating bugs that might make you lose a lot of work you know anyway i hope that has been uh insightful and helpful and that uh, yeah it helped a little bit for the guys that didn't know how to do use the replace tool that is the way that you use the replace tool okay guys thank you so much for watching have an awesome fantastic week i'll catch you on the next one and a big thank you to my patreon supporters i really appreciate you guys cheers